Tom Durkin with the grade one Ogden Phipps live on TVG. They're in the gate. And the rough. Classic point beholder antipathy and close hatches from the inside. Princess of Silvara has come out fourth. Bel Galanty will be the last of them all as they move up the backstretch here. Classic point goes on to take the lead from antipathy. And then there's a break of four back to beholder who's well held early on here by Gary Stevens. And close hatches is just to her inside. And a break of four back to Princess of Silmar already about ten lengths from the leaders. And the last of them all is Bel Galanty. The opening quarter was a rapid one. 22 and two fifth seconds. Now Classic Point goes bounding away to lead now by four. Antipathy has let her go and runs back second off five lengths behind with five furlongs to go. Close Hatch has maneuvered to the outside for clear sailing. And then down toward the bell, Bell Gallanty, Beholder, and Princess of Silmar are still at the back of the pack. A punishing half mile of 45 seconds flat here for Classic Point. Whittling away at that lead. Close Hatches rolls up alongside Antipathy. And Beholder is now commencing her bid. And hard on her heels is Princess of Silmar as Bell Gallanty comes off the inside. Classic Point is stopped. And at the quarter pole, it's closed hatches. Beholder, Princess of Silmar, they're lining up for that stretch drive with three sixteenths of a mile to go. And it is closed hatches in front. Beholder, Princess of Silmar, lengthening her stride with one furlong remaining. Antipathy is fourth. Closed hatches, Beholder, and Princess of Silmar. Oh, what a race here as these three fillies come down to the line. Closed hatches, Princess of Silmar. Close hatches won it, won it by a nostril over Princess of Silmar and Antipathy. A fantastic race here and a remarkable time. A mile and a 16th completed wow. in 140 and two fifths. The grade one Ogden Phipps, everybody, the main contenders lined up at the top of the stretch, but close hatches keeps on going. One final surge from Princess of Silmar, but she does not get there. No, she does, and Princess of Silmar really had to, to grind away a little bit. Gary Stevens, I, I felt like he had a ton of horse, and he was, I think, worried about Princess of Silmar, and he was going to make it difficult for Javier Castellano to take the overland route. Meanwhile, Joel Rosario snuck up the rail with closed hatches. And how about Antipathy at 30 to 1, making a race of this late here with Irad Ortiz Jr. Beholder just found nothing late. Maybe the sweeping turns got to her. But your third choice here, close hatches. Now they face each other three times. Princess of Silmar won. Beholder won. Close hatches one. This is impressive. Well, what a what a great division this is, the distaff division. It's posted on the board. One, six, two, five, five to two over nine to five. Over, as you said, big balloons, the two at 30 to one. Beholder with really no excuse and a good spot with that fast pace in front of her. And a Princess of Silmar tries, but close hatches gotta give her tons of credit now. Three consecutive wins. And how about that double? The grade one Apple Blossom at Oakland Park, followed by this, the grade one Ogden Phipps at Belmont Park. A sensational day of racing continues on TVG after this.